All right. It's it seems to be a bit of an issue about where and where this brass uh, nut is supposed to be secured. Whether or not these screws need to be tightened or left loose to allow it to, to wiggle around. But I looked at it thinking, okay, if this bracket right here is locked into this position, it's going to stay right here. This bracket's not going to move up or you know left or right, back and forth. It's going to stay right here. It's kind of etched in stone. This brass nut is going to sit right here. Now it has the option of moving a little bit, you know, forward, back, a little bit, around and around, but I wanted to be able to put it in a location that's firmed up by these two screws so that I don't have to have it loose, okay? So where does this nut have to be so that it can be firmed up, the screws can be firmed up? This is the lead screw, okay? I've removed it, you can see right here. I've unthreaded it away from the coupler, which is down here. One thing you need to absolutely do, since that brass nut is always going to be there, is measure from the rail to the center of the uh, lead screw, okay? That tells you how far from the rail it needs to be. You can also measure from the center of the lead screw to the outside of the rail, okay? Because what you need to do is find the center of the brass nut, okay? I would firm these screws up, you know, make sure it's, it's kind of firmed up. Let's just say that's where it's going to be. You measure and measure, you know, front to back, left and right. Find where that's located based on where this bracket is. You need to make sure that this hole is in the exact same place. Same distance right here from the rail, front to back to center and then the same place from the outside of the rail to center. You need to find that location and firm this stepper motor down, okay? Once the, the stepper motor is in that location and it's straight up and down, this coupler is straight up and down, okay? Distance here, distance here, and up and down, it's straight. The, the stepper motor is not leaning to one side, it's not tilted, it's, it's flush with the bottom part of the rail. So it's the same distance, it's flush, okay, so basically it's, it's parallel with the rail. It's straight up and down. The distance from here to, from the outside rail to the center, and then the distance from the outside here to center is exactly the same as up here. So you can indeed, if you, dr if you lower this uh, lead screw down, you can maybe kind of see where it is and then you can loosen those two screws a little, sort of move it so you feel that it's going to be center and then firm them up. I mean, you can, you'll be able to feel that this has a certain amount of play. It's, it stops here, I can feel it stop, it stop, it stop. So you can feel where it's going to be, okay? So when you get the lead screw down at the bottom, do the same thing, see where it stops, you know, go this way, it stops going that way, it stops going back, it stops going forward. This is the center. This is where there's less resistance to the screw, right here in center. You can feel that, okay? Now I'm going to let the screw go. Now what I tend to do is when I build a printer, I want it, I know I'm feeling it, I can feel it left and right, right there. That should fall directly into the coupler, see, because I'm just moving it. I can feel resistance there, there, back and forth. Find the center, locate the center. You can feel right, right there is no binding. Now technically with no binding, that should fall straight in, as it does, as you see there, okay? Now I put a clamp right here so that it holds the gantry in location in this spot. So when I lift this up, like that, okay. Now I can still feel in the brass nut right there. Now I'm going to firm the brass nut down because I think that is perfect. Because if I lift it up and go left and right, front to back, I can feel resistance and right, right there is, I mean it's floating right there. The only reason it's sitting here is because I'm lifting up and the gantry itself is resting on the threads of the uh, lead screw. And it's 
left to right, right here, just fall straight in. I mean, that's, that's literally, and I'm lifting the whole gantry, okay, with the lead screw, and it falls right in. Now, I'm not having to push this over, pull it over, shove it over, do anything. It literally will just slide and drop right in. You can feel it for yourself, right? Right there is the binding. You can feel the circle. And right, it just falls right in. That's what you needed to do. So then firm these up. Then go ahead and firm up the brass uh, nut up here because now it's exactly where it needs to be. There will be no binding of the uh, gantry down here or up here or even up here. So I tend to do the, the fitting about in center because it gives me that little bit of, of of play that I can feel. So when I lift this up, there is play there. Okay, but it's play in a good way. Okay, it's centered right there. And then when I feel that I'm not binding over here to the left or to the right, finding center, it should just literally, let's see that, it just falls right in, just like that. To me, that's perfect, and it is. It's on all my printers. As long as this hole is in the exact, uh, you know, center of this hole down here, which is the stepper, you can tweak the, the stepper, you know, left to right, forward and back. Now, if you need to come out, if this hole needs to come, you know, this, the coupler needs to come out just a little bit, then put a, 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 a spacer in here. You know, put a, a shim between this um, mounting bracket and the rail. Put a little shim there. That shims the stepper out if you need to because this shim might be a little thin and it causes the stepper to be inward too far and this hole is not centered. You need that hole of this coupler centered no doubt with the uh, hole of the, the, uh, the brass nut up there. Okay, So there you go. So it comes down. I can feel, I can feel it when I, wrote, when I go in a circular motion. I can feel the, the, the stopping and it literally is right there. All right, that's it. Happy printing. Tighten everything. Tighten the, the 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 set screws here, and then once you do that, you can go ahead and remove this clamp, and everything will be back to normal. But technically, this the gantry is resting on the threads of the lead screw. It's not so much. See right there, it's wiggling. It's got the play. This is. That's it. I mean, it's not pushing. It's not binding. It's sitting about halfway down. That's what you need. Okay. And then tighten those up. This is perfect. So when I lift this up, the gantry is resting on the inside thread right there. That's how this works. When the Z drive turns, it's pushing the gantry up. That's its only job. It's not designed to go down. The Z drive is not going down during a print. It's going up. So when it's turning each little step in the upward direction, this gantry is resting on that thread. And it's actually two sets of threads, maybe even three, but I know for sure there's at least two sets of threads in there, possibly three running together, you know, along the, the, the length of this. So, but yeah, I mean, that, that, that's perfect. I mean, it's no, no binding or anything. That's what it needs to be. Good luck.